I'm Scott Melby. I'm the program director at Minnesota Security Hospital. All right, there is a patient I worked with, a young man who had late onset schizophrenia, which means that he was moving along fine with his life. You know, he had a girlfriend and he had career plans and about the time that he was 19 years old, he got very sick, got involved with the law um, and ended up being committed to security hospital. Now, when I worked with him, he was already at the hospital and I was a security counselor and he was one of those patients that was really challenging. He also believed that he was the Pope or the governor or the lead guitarist for the Who or whatever was popular in the media at the time. And he was angry and if you were to try and orient him to reality, it, would, it could ultimately result in some violence. And we worked with him really hard. The staff that worked on the units, the nursing staff t did their best to take care of him as well as the doctors and over time they were able to find the proper medications for this man and he had a miraculous recovery in my eyes and I remember his discharge meeting when he was sitting with the multidisciplinary team the social worker, the psychologist, uh, the security counselors, his doctor and he thanked all of us for what we did for him he was going to be leaving to a placement and then um, he wanted us to know how much he appreciated what we did for him and he remembered all the difficult things that he put us through. I'll never forget when he looked at me and he said, I remember when I threatened you, when I hit you that time. He said, I'm really sorry. He said, but thank you for taking such good care of me. And he was discharged from the hospital and he went on to have a successful life. His time at Security Hospital was short because we had the right people there to take care of him, to make sure that he got the care he needed when he was sick, to make sure he got the right medicine he needed so he could get back to his life. 